What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I do have my WWE Elimination Chamber 2019 full show predictions for you guys. Of course, as you know, the show is coming up on Sunday and I'm super duper excited for it. We have an action-packed Elimination Chamber. As you can see, the participants here in the middle of the ring for the Elimination Chamber as follows. I think that this is going to be an epic chamber match. You have a lot of great competitors in there. The rest of the card honestly doesn't look that great. I'm not that excited for pretty much any of the matches that I can think of outside of the Elimination Chamber match, but I think that this chamber should make up for it, and hopefully they do deliver, guys. But anyways, as you guys know, I'm going to take you through the entire card, giving you my full predictions on the card, everything in between, what I think about the storyline currently, and all of that, and what I expect out of every single match. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. So starting things out first, guys, we have the Cruiserweight Championship match between Buddy Murphy taking on Akira Tozawa. Obviously, this is sort of a follow-up to their Fatal 4-Way match that they had at the last show, and I think that these guys are going to have a good showing. I don't expect Akira Tozawa to take the Cruiserweight Championship away from Buddy Murphy. I mean, I guess anything is possible, but I think that Buddy Murphy's still on that tear. You know, I think that they're going to have a great matchup, and I know that Akira Tozawa can go to good matches, especially with a guy like Buddy Murphy, and 205 Live is about to bring this thing home here, but I think that Buddy Murphy is going to retain. That's pretty much all I have to say. I expect a good match and a Buddy Murphy retain. Next up, guys, we have a match that I don't think I could give less of a damn about, and that is Braun Strowman taking on Baron Corbin, or Trash Corbin as I like to call him. Why in the hell are we having this match? No one I can, I can name like four people that are excited about this, and it's the parents of both Braun Strowman and Trash Corbin. Who in the absolute hell wants to see this matchup? I could not I like guys this is one of my least favorite matchups probably ever I feel like uh, this is just so stale this is so boring and I I would not watch I'm not gonna watch this match I will I'm not gonna watch it that's pretty much it I think that Braun Strowman should win hands down Braun Strowman should win this matchup but I don't care about it I, I think this is terrible I just don't like this matchup at all and uh, this is this is put me to sleep type matches right here. I'm going Braun Strowman over Trash Corbin. That's it. Next up, we have the Raw Women's Championship match between Ronda Rousey and Ruby Riot. I think that this matchup is going to be very solid. I think that Ronda Rousey has literally had a great match with everybody she's been in the ring with, and she's been, even been in the ring with Nia Jax, guys. So. Um, if she can pull a good match with Nia Jax out, then I think that she is going to be in great hands with Ruby Riot. You know, Sasha Banks, Bayley, Nia Jax, Alexa Bliss, whoever that Ronda Rousey has stepped in the ring with, she has had a pretty good to great matchup. And I expect the same thing here from Ruby Riot. I like Ruby Riot a lot. I love Ronda. I think that this is going to be really good for, you know, another stepping stone on her way to WrestleMania 35 versus Becky Lynch and Charlotte. And yes, I think that Becky Lynch is going to be added back to that matchup. I'm not going to be too invested into, you know, her getting replaced there. I just don't think they're going to pull it. If they were to do that, I think that would be the worst booking mistake of all time in WWE history if they did that to Becky Lynch for real. But anyways, I'm going Ronda Rousey to retain. She's not going to drop the title to Ruby Riot, being that, you know, the money matchup is her and Becky and Charlotte or whatever in the main event of WrestleMania 35. So Ronda will retain over Ruby Riot. Next up, guys, we have the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championship match between the Usos and The Miz and Shane McMahon, the new champions that were crowned over the bar last show, or last pay-per-view, if you will. Honestly, I would love to see the Usos win here. I think that they totally need it. They totally deserve it. I think they're one of the best tag teams in the entire world. But I think, again, they are pushing this team of Shane McMahon and The Miz, and they just won the tag titles. They're not going to drop them this quick. As unfortunate as it is, they will be beating the Usos. I don't know how they're going to do it. I don't know how they book it. I think it will be solid. I mean, if we get the same intensity and the same drive that we got out of the bar and Shane McMahon versus, and The Miz, I think that this is going to have the makings to be a really good match. So hopefully they deliver here. I'm not going in with high expectations, but um, I know that The Miz and Shane McMahon will retain, and I am going to predict that here, even though The Usos would be a nice little surprise to pick up the dub. Shane and Miz are walking out with the SmackDown Live Tag Titles. Next up, guys, we have a handicap match for the Intercontinental Championship between Bobby Lashley and Leo Rush, taking on my boy Finn Balor, and I think this is the perfect opportunity to put the Intercontinental Championship on Finn Balor. I think that the championship most definitely needs to be off of Bobby Lashley going into WrestleMania. Not that Bobby Lashley is the absolute worst in the ring. He's definitely not great by any means, but I think that Finn Balor has a lot more to offer for a great matchup at WrestleMania to kick off the show right and defend that thing as the demon. I think it would be epic as hell. I don't know who his opponent would be, but I think it would be a lot better than Bobby Trashley. So I think that we need to have Finn Balor win the Intercontinental title here. I'm going to predict that he pins Leo Rush, keeping Bobby Lashley still looking strong, 
but I still think that Finn Balor is going to win this thing. I think he's going to grab that Intercontinental title, go into Mania, defend it as the Demon, win in the Demon's debut at Mania with that Intercontinental title run, and hopefully he has an on-flames run like Seth Rollins did last year, and that's what I'm going to predict. So my boy Finn Balor is going to take the Intercontinental title away from Bobby Trashley. Next up, guys, we do have the Tag Team Elimination Chamber match for the inaugural WWE Women's Tag Team Championships between Nia Jax and Tamina, the Riot Squad of Liv Morgan and Sarah Logan, Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville, the Iconics, Billy Kay and Peyton Royce, Bayley and Sasha Banks, and then Naomi and Carmella. Honestly, guys, I think that this matchup is going to be a cluster F. I think, I, I honestly do not know what to expect out of this. Um, there's a lot of moving parts. There's a ton of bodies in there, and I, I just do not know what to think about it. The only thing that I do know is that if Bailey and Sasha Banks do not walk out of this chamber match with those women's championships, I'm going to be hella upset. And I know you could say, well, Nia Jax and Tamina should win because they're heels, and it'll really piss everybody off and that they can stroll into WrestleMania. Nia Jax and Tamina shouldn't even be near a wrestling ring. I think they're both absolutely awful in the ring. On the mic, just everything about them are terrible. I think that their family heritage got them everywhere they are in this business, and I don't think they have a talented finger on their body, and I think that, yeah, they, they don't need to win. I honestly would be fine with anybody else winning. I don't think anybody should, though. I think Bailey and Sasha Banks should easily win this. It will, you know, uh, culminate that, that terrible, like, storyline slash feud that we had all through 2018 where they were pissed off, and then they were friends again, and then they weren't friends, and then they were tag team, and then they, they just sort of, you know, compared to 2017, the years that they had in 2017 to 2018, guys, I mean, my lord, 2018 was a terrible year for Bailey and Sasha. What a way to start off 2019 than to win these women's championships and then go into WrestleMania and take on somebody like Trish and Lita or something. I don't know. I think that would be a lot better match. I don't want to see Nia Jax and Tamina, man. Get that trash off my TV. But yes, I'm going to be going with Bailey and Sasha Banks because it is absolutely the right choice and hopefully they do pull the trigger on it. I'm going Sasha Banks and Bailey to be the first ever WWE Women's Tag Team Champions. One thing that I would like to add here is that I think it would be really cool to see Dean Ambrose just pop up like Shawn Michaels in that one elimination chamber and come in there and just dirty deeds Nia Jax to get her and Tamina eliminated. Just a fantasy booking thought that popped in my head. And for the main event, ladies and gentlemen, we have the men's elimination chamber for the WWE Championship between Daniel Bryan, AJ Styles, Jeff Hardy, Randy Orton, Samoa Joe, and Kofi Kingston, who is replacing Mustafa Ali after an injury, which is really unfortunate. I was, I was looking forward to Mustafa Ali flying all over the chamber. I know that Kofi Kingston can do the exact same things that Mustafa Ali can do in this chamber match, but I was really looking forward to Mustafa Ali getting that test against all these great competitors. I thought it would have done really good wonders for his career. But anyways, guys, getting into this matchup, I think, honestly, I think that Daniel Bryan's going to retain here. I don't see him dropping the WWE Championship right here. If anybody if anybody were to win, I mean, honestly, uh, anybody could win this matchup. I mean, I don't think that Kofi's going to win just because, you know, they're not going to strap him up. Even though he deserves it and it would be incredible to see, I just don't think they're going to go that route. Even though Randy Orton, Samoa Joe, AJ Styles, Daniel Bryan, and Jeff Hardy are all big names that could roll into WrestleMania with that WWE Championship. And I would be for any of those guys carrying it. I would really love to see Randy Orton, AJ Styles, Samoa Joe, or Jeff Hardy over Daniel Bryan, to be honest, but I think that Daniel Bryan is on fire now, that new heel gimmick and everything. I think that he's going to retain here. I think that the help of Eric Rowan, I think Eric Rowan's going to somehow get in this chamber match and help him overcome the odds against all five other men. If I was fantasy booking it, I would probably have Samoa Joe or Jeff Hardy pick up the dub. Um, even my boy Randy Orton would be nice, but I think that Daniel Bryan is going to retain in this chamber match, but I am expecting some really cool spots. I'm expecting to, you know, have a lot of fun in this matchup, and hopefully they do deliver. I mean, anything could be better than last year, man. Just Roman Reigns running the show and Braun Strowman just destroying everybody in the chamber was really unfortunate. Thank God we don't have any characters like that in there. This thing is open for anybody. I think that anybody could win the strap, but I think that the hemp, WWE Championship is going to be coming home with Daniel Bryan. But that pretty much does it for my Elimination Chamber 2019 full show predictions. Guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. I would love to know your thoughts on Elimination Chamber and all of my predictions down in the comments section below. Sound off and let me know what you think of each matchup and who you predict to win. Being this close to WrestleMania, we could see some good WrestleMania seeds planted at this show and I would be perfectly okay with that. But that does it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the predictions. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.